I'm about to read your mind through this screen and I'm going to do it using these circles. So in a minute, I'm going to ask you to make a series of decisions. The first of which is you are simply going to choose a number. Now it can be any number you like, as long as it's between three and let's say 15. It can be more than 15 if you want, but if it is, we will be here all day. But whatever your number is, I want you to take your finger or your cursor and put it on this little X right here. And in a minute, I'm going to ask you to use your number to count around these circles. So for example, if your number is five, you start on the little X and when you count to one, you move to one. When you count to two, you move to two. Three is snake, four is fox, and five is horse where you would stop. So whatever your number is, I want you to start on that little X and I want you to count around these circles in this direction. If you get all the way back to the top, just keep going in this direction around the animals until you get to your number, ignoring these little blue circles at the top. So go ahead, start counting to your number now. Count around the circles until you get to your number. And when you get to your number, I want you to stop on that animal. If you're still counting and you need more time, you can pause the video, but hopefully at this point, you have landed on one of the animals. So that means we can get rid of those little blue circles at the top. So you should be on one of these animals. Whichever animal you are on, you are going to count to your number again, but this time moving in the opposite direction. So for example, if you landed on snake and your number is five, turkey is one, lion is two, dog is three, and so on. And you're going to count to your number again in this direction. And I want you to do it now. So go ahead, count around the circle of animals in this direction until you get to your number and stop on that animal. So again, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video, but hopefully at this point, you have stopped on one of the animals in this circle, but I think that you are not on either of these ones. So you should be on one of the remaining animals. So here's what I want you to do. Whichever animal you are on, I want you to count the number of letters in that animal's name. So for example, if you were on lion, that is four. If you were on turkey, that is six. Count the letters in your animal's name that you are currently on, and that is going to be your new number. And you're going to use that new number to count around the circle again, skipping over the empty spaces. But the thing is, you can go either direction. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So go ahead, count those letters in that animal's name and use that number to move around this circle one more time. And I want you to do that now. So you should be moving around the circles and you should have landed on an animal. But the thing is, I don't think you are on lion, dog, or horse either. So you should be on one of these three remaining animals. Now, whichever animal you are currently on, I want you to count the number of letters in that animal's name again. And that is going to be your new, new number. And you're going to use that new number to count around the remaining circles one more time. And again, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. It is completely up to you. So whatever your new, new number is, I want you to use that to count around the remaining animals now. So, you've chosen a number, you've counted in one direction, you've counted in the other direction, you've used animals to choose new numbers to count in whichever direction you like, and your decisions led to this point. But like I said, I'm going to read your mind through this screen. And right now, I know that each and every one of you is thinking of the fox. If I got this right, leave a comment, like and share, and send it to your friends to see if they are thinking of the fox too.